Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to sharpen an everyday kitchen knife utilizing Wicked Edge's latest precision knife sharpener, the Wii 40. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I've created quite a few Wicked Edge videos and I'm certainly a fan. And recently I created my first Wii 40 video and it was basically a tutorial on how to set it up and the benefits of owning this specific model. I received a couple of comments on the video and they were basically asking me to put together a video where I sharpen an everyday knife utilizing the Wii 40, but basically doing it soup to nuts. They asked if I could include every detail of the sharpening process with the Wii 40 and I figured that that would be a pretty good video to make. I have this kitchen knife, which was actually given to me by my mother-in-law. It is nothing special as far as make and model, but of course it's very special, special to me, uh, especially for sentimental purposes. But on top of it, it is a great knife and something that I use every day. And at this point, it's actually been a while since I have sharpened it. It's a bit beat up. As I looked at it, it does have a few dings. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and put a good burr on it so that I could get the sharpest edge that I possibly can out of this knife. So if you are interested in seeing the complete process of getting this knife sharpened to nearly a razor's edge, keep watching. In this sharpening session, obviously my knife, we have the Wii 40 Precision Sharpener. I have my Sharpie, my Allen key in order to adjust the vise. I have my little ruler here that'll help retain the sweet spot. And of course, I'll show all of this in detail in a bit. And then I have my stones. These are the ones that actually come with the Wii 40. Since I need to create a burr, I'm going to start out with the 600. From the 600, I'm going to go to the 800. From 800 to 8000. And from there, I'm going to finish off just for the purpose of this video with the 1500 and then the 2200. The Wii 40 has these blocks and there is basically a small, medium and large. Now the bigger blocks are meant for smaller diameter knives and the smaller block, which the smallest one that I have is in there now, is meant more for these beefier, bigger chef type knives. Now what I need to do is find the sweet spot in order to mount my knife properly to the Wii 40. And what we're looking for the sweet spot is as it begins to curve so here as far as the knife when you're seeing let's say on the belly itself once that really starts to curve up right there that is approximately where my sweet spot is and where i want to mount this knife in the vise right around here is where the curvature is starting as far as the sweet spot and knowing that i have my block in there i know that i have a good height as well as the knife being level i'm going to go ahead and take my allen key and tighten up the vise. One of the cool things that I do like about this vise is that it is kind of split in half. So if your knife does taper off, let's say starting from thin to thicker, having this split vise is certainly ideal because you'll be able to clamp it down and cinch it down, giving it that perfect uniform fit. Okay, so here, very carefully, I'm just going underneath here, lifting up everything, knowing that we are good to go. Knife is not going anywhere. We're ready to get to the next step. I had mentioned this little ruler that comes with the Wii 40. And now that we have our sweet spot set, I can go ahead and take this little ruler, being very careful with the knife blade here, of course. I'm going to match it up to the end of the vise here. And as you could tell, as this comes down, I am one level past the D. So what I would do now is write that information down. And next time that I go to sharpen this knife, I'm already one step ahead. I can just hook up that little ruler and not worry about manually or visually trying to find that sweet spot again. That way that builds uniformity each time that you sharpen that specific knife. I want to find the perfect angle to sharpen this knife at. Now I have sharpened this knife before in the past and I recall it being about 15 degrees, but just to make sure and for the purpose of this video, we're gonna go ahead and use our Sharpie. And what I'm gonna do very carefully, keeping my hands away from the blade and the uh, sharp edge here, is color in this top part of the knife, which is the part that will get sharpened. Now what I wanna do here is on the Wii 40, you have the little measurements here for the angle itself. And what I want to do is, since I know it's about 15, I want to start a little bit wider because that way, if I was wrong or if I wasn't sure that it was 15 degrees, 
I won't damage anything on the actual blade by taking off too much metal by having, let's say, too close of an angle when starting out. So once again, this is just for a little bit of a test here. So let's say instead of me being at 15, I might start, let's say, at 16. I'm going to go ahead and just tighten that little screw down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a higher grit stone. So let's say here I'll be using the 1500 because as I do this test, if my angle is not correct, which I know it's not right now because it's a little bit wider, I will be taking off unnecessary metal from this knife and still not sharpening it. So by utilizing, let's say, a 1500 or a 1000 or whatever the highest grit that you have and just going ahead and filing Magic Marker off, it could tell me if I'm lined up correctly for the angle. As I look here, I could tell it's just a little bit out too much as I thought it would be. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it now to 15 degrees. Bring that up. Tighten my little thumb screw. I know that I'm at 15. Take that Sharpie marker ink off. Just once again, letting the stone do the work. No need to press hard. The Sharpie ink is coming fully off. Pretty much letting me know that that's the angle that I'm going to want to sharpen it at. Next thing I want to do now is on the other side, set that to 15 degrees. And we will be ready to start sharpening our knife. I do want to remind you once again that I made a detailed video on setting up the Wii 40. I will have it linked in the comments as well as in the description field below. So be sure to check that out to get even more information on the Wii 40. So what I'm going to do here is start out with the 600 grit, which should be suffice to create this burr. And once again, safety, keeping your fingers hidden, keeping your thumbs and fingers tucked inside of the plastic here on the stones, maintaining safety. I'm going to go ahead and begin sharpening my knife. Just from the sound, from having experience with these Wii systems, I can tell that I'm definitely taking off some metal here, doing what I need to do. And when I think about making passes with these stones, I'm thinking about 20 passes 20 with the left 20 with the right just to give it a uniformed number let's say then from there you still want to check what i'm going to do is very working from the bottom up just checking to see if i am creating that burr and i am feeling that metal coming up giving me that burr so that i could put a good edge on this knife now i want you to keep in mind also this is a relatively long knife so you have the options let's say one long stroke kind of the way that i was starting it working all the way down or you can do it in increments so let's say start with thirds so i'm starting here first third second third in the middle and then forward or once again getting it all in one shot so you have those options once again, I'm working this a little bit more so I could get that good burr. So I am definitely going with more than the uh, usual 20 strokes that are required, let's say, for regular maintenance. Okay, let's go ahead and check that out. That's feeling pretty good. Got that burr going there. And now it's time to switch out the stones for a higher grit. In this case, we are going from 600 to the 800 now before i actually switch out the stones to the 800 i just want to double check the vise make sure that everything is good to go nice and tight might have the tendency to get in a little bit loose especially with the rougher grit stones as i was trying to get that burr and once again you don't want to over over tighten it but once again making sure that it is in there not going anywhere now 800 grit same process as before either in thirds or just one longer stroke whatever works best for you now with this 20 passes should definitely be enough that burst created i'm already starting to feel everything getting much smoother now if you feel a certain part needs a little bit more work than the other parts fine to just go ahead focus on that little part there do the same on the other side just keeping everything even and just continue with a few more passes okay so check that out real quick once again safety first I just like putting my little nail on there just to see if it's grabbing starting to grab looking good from here we want to move on up 1500 grit stones and finishing off with the 2200 we're working it now with the 1500 much smoother you could even hear it in the sound and so you could certainly feel it in the sharpening. So just giving that a try there. Now, for all intents and purposes, this knife is sharpened. It is good to go. Could tackle all the any day needs in the kitchen. But since I do have the 2200 stone here, 
I'm going to go ahead and finish off with a few passes of the 2200 grit. And I feel that we are good to go. Very, very sharp. Looking good. Nice edge on there now compared to uh, what we started out with. Now from here, get your Allen key and you'll want to go ahead and remove the knife by untightening the screws here. Always thinking of safety first, especially if you're looking through a camera viewfinder like I am right now. Get your fingers out of the way, knife on the handle. It's nice and loose now. And I'm good to go from here just to give it a little test. I had some baby carrots in the fridge. And let's go ahead and chop those up. Very clean cut, knife is sharp, and it is good to go. So bottom line, if you are in the market for a precision knife sharpener made in the USA, a Wicked Edge model that is budget friendly, that can not only handle your everyday knives, but also your special, let's say more higher end knives, definitely take a look at this Wii 40 Precision Knife Sharpener by Wicked Edge.